extra, extra, extra. Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic, and fabulous your way. Yes, I am here with two of the nearest release fashionistas. We got number 141 and number 152. I ordered them from Amazon.com, my local Walmart, <laughs> well, I was in there last week. You know, it's not like you... I don't, rather. I don't run out every day to Walmart like I used to, you know, because of what's going on in the world. I usually go to Walmart as less as I possibly can. You know, sometimes that's once a week, but most times it's every two weeks. I try to pick up everything I need to get, and if I run out of something, I try to make do until the next trip, so... I don't think my local Walmart has them in, you know, maybe when I pop back in during um my week this, my trip this week, who knows, maybe I'll be surprised. But I did purchase these two from Amazon.com for $9.99 each. They're always, when they first come out, $9.99 at Amazon, you know. They're $7.94 at Walmart, and we ain't at Walmart, okay? So... I decided to go ahead and get them there. Let me show you the, the lineup here. So here is the back of the packaging. And I'm very excited about these fashionistas, guys. I want every last one of them. I think I always do. But most of the time, I usually don't get them all unless they go on clearance. But everybody on this release, I want. And I won't wait until clearance because I really like them. I did see this guy here with the funny color hair, number 154. He is supposed to be available again, I think, the 15th. They're out of stock right now, but you can still order him, and they'll ship him out when he's available. And then number 153, this guy here. He's the same guy before. I cannot remember his number, but it was the same guy. He's same face mole. He just has a different hair color. You know, they just put a little uh, color in his hair and gave him a different outfit. But I still like him. So I'll probably still get him. But the lineup is gorgeous. And I hope that you guys can see how awesome these fashionistas in the new lineup are. They're fabulous. And again, I want all of them. Seems like we've got just three guys this time. We've got one petite looking at the picture, and we have one, two, three curvy girls. We have this beauty here, the ball girl with the big hoop earrings. I want her. I mean, I love the diversity that's, you know, I just hope that they all come out and that we can all get them. But right now on Amazon.com, from my research, number 153... 141, 152, and 154 are the only ones that I have seen pop up on Amazon.com. So I'm really excited about collecting all of them. And hopefully my local Walmart will eventually get them in. So again, purchase them from Amazon. So if you're interested in them, go ahead. Alright, so without any more waiting, let's go ahead and unbox these characters so that we can see what we're working with here. I really love his attire. You know, it's the same Ken, but you know, and his sunglasses had fallen off. He comes with a pair of sunglasses and they did have elastic on them. So I'm not sure, you know, like I said, the boxes get tossed around and thrown around so much, you know, it's amazing sometimes and can't believe Amazon put it in a box this time and I didn't have to worry about it getting stuffed in the mailbox. I didn't show you guys this detail either. I really like how now on the packaging 
And this is not just the fashionistas. I've noticed this on other Barbie items too. They give you the actual characters here on the front. And I really, really like that. I like that a lot. So as you see, the cans are never pinned in. You know, they're just in the box and you just open the box and there they are. So here he is with his uh, sunglasses. The sunglasses have the cat, cat eye shape and they are, the lenses are trimmed in white. And then the side, the arms of the glasses are like a, a grayish black color, I guess. You know, they're real, they're clear rather. And I really like that. I like how you can see his eyes through the glasses. So let's remove his glasses. And of course, he has the, the adorable blue eyes. And he has the blonde hair, molded on hair. And, you know, pretty good mold. Um, this mold is from 2016. I can't believe that I can see it. Wow, usually can't see it. But I like the detail in his hair. He has more detail, it seems, than my previous kins. And who knows, maybe it's my imagination. But I love his shirt. I love the watermelon and the pineapple. I mean, he looks so comfortable and cool for a day out on the beach, maybe going out to a cookout, or just being out, hanging out. And I really love it. And it does Velcro here in the front. Like that. And then look at his shorts, guys. I love the color again. Something different from my collection. I do not have any Ken shorts this color. Um, it has the stitching that is the same color as the um, actual pants. They're kind of like a fuchsia color. And of course, they Velcro in the back. I like them a lot. I really like them a lot. And then they paired him back with a pair of white loafers. And I like this Ken. I like him, like him, like him. Again, I'm loving that shirt. I love it. And you guys know they have the basic five points of articulation. Heads turn from side to side. The arms go out, forward and back, and they have articulation at the hip. And I really like him. And I he, he looks like he's just he looks like he lives on the beach. He has a house on the beach and you know he's just ready for any and everything. And there he is with his cool sunglasses on. So I really like this this Ken Fashionista. I'm glad to have him. And then up next, we have this adorable redhead, number 141. And as you guys can see, she has those adorable dimples as the previous fashionista. And I cannot remember her number. I know that some of you experts out there will know right off what number she is. And she was adorable. But she was, I think, of the curvy body type. This girl appears to be, you know, the regular body type. And she's adorable. I love her red hair. And then here on the front of her packaging, you know, we got a picture of her. And then we got a picture of Barbie. And I really, really like the Barbie in this, um... I really like the Barbie in this way. You know, I usually don't be all that excited about the Barbie, but I'm loving Girlfriend's outfit. And I'm just excited about get, collecting all of these. So let's go ahead and unbox her. Take her out of the packaging. And we all know that with the girls, they're always pinned in. I'm sure she's going to have those horrible um things holding her hair down I'm just you know I'm just so sure about that so let's see if I can pull it loose all right there we go so I didn't even really need the scissors to snip them loose it looks, it looks like I pulled them free completely out of her head how cool is that and then her packaging has these great inspirations it says you have the ambition it takes to create something amazing Barbie <laughs> that is really cool. I like that. That's awesome. All right, so here she is free from the packaging. Yes, I did a really awesome job pulling her out. I didn't leave any of the plastic tie in her hair. She is a very beautiful doll, guys. I love this face mold. She is absolutely stunning, as you can see. Her hair has no product. It's really, really soft. You know, she has a little box hair, but to be just removed from the box, it's not that bad at all. I love her. I really, really do. And her skin tone, again, is, 
that bronzy skin tone. She looks like she has lived out in the sun on the beach her whole life as well. And she has these beautiful light brown eyes. And she has um, thick um, brown eyebrows, of course. And she has this light pink lip color. And I love it. And then, as you can see, she has these gold upside down triangle earrings in her ear and they have her hair parted it looks like it's a part she has a little section here and i'm not going to say it's a part or is it kind of does look like it might be a part but they have it pulled back in a little um elastic band pulled back on the side and i think it's really cute real simple and cute and she wears it very well again this is one of my favorite moles and i love the dimples she's just fabulous and then let's check out her attire i love this dress i love the colors i love that rainbow what do you call this it's a name for this and i can't even think of it right now but i love it i love the color blend um, her dress has the v-neck and it has this lilac like fabric trim around the neck and the trim goes in the back and of course the design does not go in the back and the dress has the velcro open closure. It feels like this, it feels kind of like gabardine material. Um, it's kind of stretchy, really nice material I think, really nice. The sleeves are made kind of like this, like such. And then she has this um, cut fray um, look at the hem of the dress. I really love her dress. I love it. And then they paired her back with these brown cowboy boots. And I love those boots. I love the detailing there on the front. It looks like it could be flowers and I don't know. I just they're just very detailed my eyesight isn't that great today but yes very beautiful I like her outfit I love how they styled her and of course I forgot to get a stand for her and I need to see if I can't find a stand for this girl all right you stand right there while I see if I can't find a stand for you might have to borrow one of the BMRs stand but i can't find a stand so let's see if we can't borrow your stand for a minute beauty all right you stand right there beauty all right girl so here she is and she's quite lovely i really like her and i'm so glad that i was strolling along and i saw that she was available it took her a few days to ship but she's here so uh, there she is and she has the basic five points of articulation that the fashionistas all have and she's just beautiful i wanted to share this video with you guys you know they came in two separate occasions but i didn't order them at the same time she came on saturday and he was delivered today he was on the step and i didn't even know it i went to check the tracking to see if where he was but i knew he was going to be delivered today and it said my package was delivered and that it was left at the front door so of course i went to the front door and there the package was so you know i did the normal disinfecting and sprayed the box unboxed him wiped him down let him dry and voila here they are so i would love to hear what you guys think about fashionista number 141 and fashionista 152 i'm excited about them glad to have them in my collection guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe don't forget to check me out on instagram i'm ruby red swirl of dolls there as well continue being awesome fantastic and fabulous and i will see you awesome people in my next review Yeah.